Good day, everybody. Uh, John Easton here from Fishtech, and we're talking about the brand new Inyaka Dab chart. I'm going to try and file through this as fast as possible. So let's get linked to our unit and see what we've got. Remember, we're going to use the Link app. You're going to connect to it with your Wi-Fi. Absolutely wonderful app. Um, has some connection errors sometimes, a little bit frustrating, but uh, when it does connect, wonderful. There we go. We're good. Remember, guys, the first thing you want to do uh, is always change under more options. Um, Go to your Navionics. Always change it to Navionics. Okay, I've left my cursor on the right area, just above Maputo here. Nell Sprite, White River. It's a little town nearby here. It's not on the chart, but it's called the Hazy View. There it is there. You're going to go back to your uh, more options. You're going to go to your chart, and you're going to select Inyaka Dam. Okay, what's going to happen here is you're going to get this view. You're going to zoom in on that. And you're going to get these strange colors. You're going to get contours. Okay. But you're not going to have the satellite. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn your satellite on. So there we go. Chart options. You go to your photo overlay. Don't make it full. Just make it land only. We can use full later when we just want to see the contours without the colors. But for now, we do want to use the actual colors. The next thing is this what you're looking at now. This is bottom hardness. That red you see there is very soft. It's slush. It's mush. And then the harder stuff is the blue and the white, obviously, as we come up onto the rocks. However, if you want to see the actual depth contours, you're going to turn off bottom composition. There we go. Bottom composition should disappear. There we go. Now you've just got depth data. Okay. Now, guys, there's a lot of information. The first thing we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with a very dodgy, scary little area up here. I've called it Danger Rock. I don't know what the real name is. I couldn't get this, this name from anybody. But you'll see the dam, when I when I scanned the dam, when uh, Dylan and, and, and I did this dam, it was at 87, 88%, which means it was down by six feet. And you'll see from these photographs, and these photographs, by the way, we have uh, over 700 of them all around the dam. Okay, now guys, just look at this picture. The dam is down by six feet. Imagine if the dam was down, a little bit of rain came and the dam was only down by three feet and you didn't know about this rock. Bang, you're going to hit your gearbox on this and I promise you your motor will fly off the back of your boat. It is a serious piece of structure, I can tell you. That, that, will, that will not be friendly to your, to your motor. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Things like this you really want to stay away from completely. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is remember our charts, all fish tech charts. Um, the first thing you do when you get onto the water is idle out and establish what the actual depth is compared to the uh, chart depth, the contour chart depth, and then uh, do a little bit of maths in your head to just keep in mind for the rest of, of the day. Unfortunately, Lawrence does not have a depth correction, which is which is quite a nice tool, and maybe one day we'll we'll see it. I just want to show you something here. Um, I said to you, you can look at just the satellite, okay? Um, so what you can do is under your chart options, you're going to go to full. So there you've got your satellite, and you've got your contours around it. But guys, if you look at that in, in your satellite, and this is a reasonable uh, resolution chart for, for South African waters. I know in the States it's a lot clearer, but um, it's very difficult to make out what that is. So what uh, we, we actually did was we took some photographs of that. And you can see that is a massive big hole. Imagine when the water is 100% full. You're going to have like this little dam of sorts here. Um, and if the water's dirty, look, Inyok is actually quite clean. It's quite nice. So, so, so you probably would, would see it. But uh, we just thought it would be nice to add quite a few photographs in here so you can get an idea of what you've got um, inside uh, this, this, this hole here. Okay, so, so just keep in mind there are a lot of these photographs. Like I said, there's about 700 of them here. Uh, 436. I don't want to spend. There we go. I don't know if this was an old resort, but you can see from that watermark there, you can see by how much the actual dam is down. It's about six, six and a half feet is what I measured from the water level up to that uh, uh, watermark there. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Now guys, the other thing that we've got is we've got our Ultra HF. The Ultra HF, we've got West and East. 
east is from the dam wall side all the way north. So that will be this area here. You're only going to have 10 foot contours because we don't want to clutter it. We're going to go to our chart options and we're going to make our photo overlay full. And there it is. There it is there. Okay. You can see there's some um, buildings still in the water there. And then from this waterfall area, if we go back, back, Ultra HF, go back to Inyaka, just to see this photograph here, it's just so that you can get a good idea of what this looks like here. There's like a little waterfall runoff weir type, type set up there. Okay. Just so that you know exactly what you are looking at. Um, there we go. This was the, uh, sorry, this was east. And that's it. Okay. So, so that's how, how you're going to do it. If these lines, however, are annoying to you and you say, no, I don't want to see the lines at all. All you're going to do is you're going to go to your chart options, go to categories, and you can turn the lines off. And then the lines are off, and then you're only going to have um, the side scan mosaics, okay? Just keep that in mind. Like, for instance, here by these big trees here, this is also quite an interesting area. We're going to go back to Inyaka. I just want to see if there's some photographs here. Um, I don't know if we've got them from the shore. There might be some. You will have to go through these photographs. There are so many photographs. Some will, will be facing the shore. Some will, will be facing out into the deeper water. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. To go to the west side of, of the dam, like down here, you will go to your menu, more chop, um, and select west. Remember, you, you have to turn your photo overlay on again. So, you go to chart options, photo overlay, make that full, and there we go. And guys, this goes all the way down, right the way down. We managed to get as far into the river as we physically could. So that is a long, long ways in. I just want to see if there's a photograph in there. I can't remember if we got the camera in there. No, we didn't get in all the way with the camera. I think this is about as far as we got with the camera. There we go. Yeah, into one of these backwater areas here. But as you can see, this is really valuable information that, that you can pick up, especially when the dam goes 100% full. So yeah, guys, there we go. There's our um, in Inyaka chart just to get, get you going. And um, yeah, I hope that that helps.